mRNA and how does it differ from DNA? Okay, DNA, that's a very good question. DNA is just an abbreviation for a much longer name. Deoxyribonucleic acid. That's what DNA stands for. Now, D, deoxy, see, that's a Latin root. If you trace its meaning, it means God. So deoxyribo. In the Semitic lang languages, ribo is the same as rabbi. Or in the Arabic, we say rab. It means the master, the Lord. So here we have deoxyribo, God, Lord, and master, nucleic acid. Nucleic means in, at the center, and acid is like chemical fire. So deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. What does it mean? God, Lord and Master, the fire at the center of my being. So what does the Bible say about it? It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was what? The Word was God, and the Word was with God. Then it says, after many days, the Word became flesh and dwelt among men. Well, see, that's DNA. So now, the DNA basically is the God molecule that actually is the blueprint for how to make a human being. Every molecule, every protein, every substance in your body was coded for, programmed for, in the DNA. But how did it get expressed as a protein, say in muscle or bone? How did that get expressed physically out of a word? How did it manifest into flesh? That's the messenger RNA. See, the, the mRNA, the, the, the small case M stands for messenger. So it's almost theological. If DNA is the God molecule, well, how does God communicate with the world? He sends messengers, prophets, teachers with a message. So in the cell of a body, okay, suppose some injury took place. So, you know, suppose you cut your skin, like I got a little thing here. Okay, so a message went to the cell uh, from the DNA. Oh, there was a protein that got destroyed in some cell. We need 300 of those units to replace what got destroyed. So the messenger RNA comes out with that message to code for that protein. And then the cell gets busy and makes 300 copies of that exact protein fixes whatever the injury was. We call that healing. We take it for granted. <laughs> but how did it happen? The DNA was in charge and gave a command to the messenger RNA to go make a protein. This creation taking place at every minute, every second. Why? Because it's God that's at the very center of our being. So what does the enemy to God and the righteous want to do. He wants to send in an alien word, an alien messenger RNA. Not the word of God coming from the divine, but coming from the outside, act literally coming from Bill Gates. So what kind of message does Bill Gates want to send in to your cells? <laughs> A two or three generational genetic, uh, genocidalist. Eugenesis. He, now he, he's hated black people, his, even his, his father, his grandfather. They all believed in eugenics, population reduction, but they didn't have the means to carry it out. And so now here's uh, uh, little Billy. He's got the means in his hands to actually carry out the depopulation agenda of his father and his grandfather. 